Shortly after a two-year-old baby girl was murdered, Inkster's police chief Hilton Napoleon turned in his badge and said he'd had enough. Yeah, but was there more to the sudden and surprising departure than meets the eye? Seven investigator Ross Jones got his hands on a new report that Napoleon never mentioned on his way out the door. Ross. Broke news of the report earlier on WXYZ.com. It reaches many conclusions, but one of the biggest is this. If Inkster's police department has any hope of a turnaround, it needs a chief that isn't Hilton Napoleon. This is not, you know, uh, abandoning, you know, the community because I'm quite sure that there would be a number of people knocking down the door to be the chief out here in Inkster. On his last day in office on Friday, Inkster Police Chief Hilton Napoleon said he was leaving on his own after coming to grips with the fact that his department didn't have the resources to adequately fight crime. It take resources, it take money, and, uh, you know, I have to assess what is best for me. Well, what's best for Inkster's police force is a new chief. That's according to a scorching report released last month. It was commissioned by the city and obtained by my colleague, 7 investigator Ronnie Dahl. The 12-page independent review looked into the state of the city's beleaguered police department, which Napoleon has led for the last three-plus years. The delivery of police services is in turmoil, said the report, and the police department, it was deemed leaderless. The team from Risk Management Associates who issued the report cited low or no morale inside the department, a bunker mentality throughout. A necessary fix, replace police chief. Crime is down this year for the first six months. Crime was down last year, and crime was down the year before. But the report wasn't as rosy about Napoleon's record as he was. In 2012, it says clearance rates were horrific. 23% for aggravated assaults, 11% for robberies. For murders, zero. Numbers that have led citizens to share a prevailing feeling of chaos and hopelessness. Speaking with my colleague Jonathan Carlson last week, Napoleon said he's capable of solving crime. He's just not been given the tools to do it. You can bring in, you know, the greatest minds in the world, but if you don't give them resources, then, you know, you're going to still have the same problems. Yeah. The report pulled no punches about how the department is operating today, citing an obvious effort by responding officers not to take reports, and that the department has evolved into the chief's private militia. As a result of that and the perception that Napoleon has given up, the report concluded citizens have become numb to reality. The report recommends that crime in the city should be tackled by a multi-agency task force that is led by the state. So what does Napoleon have to say about this? Well, just a few minutes ago, he spoke with my colleague Ronnie Dahl by phone. He said the report is made up of lies, that he saw it for the first time last week, and it played no role in his sudden resignation. Napoleon said he'll have a formal response to the report tomorrow. From the newsroom, I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. Now, Ross, a lot of people may or may not know Hilton Napoleon's brother is Wayne County Sheriff Benny Napoleon. So I understand that before he resigned, Hilton suggested that the Wayne County Sheriff's Department take over policing there in Inkster? He did do that, but this report concluded that that was a very bad idea, saying that the Sheriff's Department is not equipped to adequately take over Inkster PD. The report did say, however, they could become part of that multi-agency task force we just told you about. All right, Ross, we'll have to see what happens there in Inkster. Thank you much for the live report and the investigation.